Yes, how may I be of help, daddy? Oh my God, when you call me like it, I get so I need to drink your blood. Why the distance? I love how he just slips in random cannibal sh Hey, I really miss you. Everything's going fine with you. I need to drink your blood. How are your kids? Today, we're gonna walk through the whole Army Hammer situation. We're gonna read all of his texts, his DMs. I've thought about you and I doming and <gasps> and you being dommed and <gasps> so goddamn much the last few years. I thought about you so much. It's been so hard not talking to you. I know I needed to, but it was so tough. You are the goddamn standard I hold women to in terms of kink and enjoyment of fucking then. You set the bar too high. You're like the Michael Phelps of <gasps> Everyone else just doesn't have what you have. Wow, okay, sorry, that came spilling out and I feel badly. If I said too much, I'm sorry. Now, so far, honestly, there's nothing wrong with these texts. As long as the other person is happy with what he's texting, there's nothing wrong here. I mean, it just sounds like two people that are horny for each other. Where it becomes a problem is later on, and also the fact that I'm pretty sure ARMY is sending these texts while married, which is a completely different story. Apparently, he's been cheating on his wife for years with all of these women. ARMY allegedly carved an A into her skin using a knife. The 22-year-old said that they were doing something called knife play, which is when someone runs a very sharp knife around the skin. Now, in theory, you don't cut the other person, but she says the actor actually did. It was extremely painful, and she almost blacked out. Every time I have fucking someone in the ass since you, the only way I can come is if I pretend I'm fucking you in the ass. She says, really? He says, yes. Why is that? It's incredibly frustrating. I don't know. You were the most intense and extreme version that I've ever had. Raping you on the floor with a knife against you. Everything else seemed boring. Okay. You crying and screaming. Me standing over you. I felt like a god. I've never felt such power or intensity. <laughs> From here on, I don't see any responses from her. And honestly, the only responses she really had is really, why is that? Which might likely mean that she was just looking to get more evidence of what ARMY did and that she's not really engaging with him here. Oh my God, that just made me so hard and it makes me confused as to why is that even possible? So hard, thinking of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. I am 100% a cannibal, I wanna eat you. Fuck, that's scary to admit, B. I've never admitted that before. I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm. Thinking of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. Now see, if somebody sent that and I, re I was reading this and I, there was no context, I would just think that's like a cute romantic thing. <laughs> Like, I just want to hold your heart in my hand and I want to control the beats. And you know, like that could easily just be like lyrics, cute lyrics to like a U2 song or something like that. But then he just goes, I'm 100% a cannibal. <laughs> Which completely changes the story. I want to eat you. That's scary to admit. I've never admitted that before. In non-sexual settings, he asked me on multiple occasions to remove my ribs. He wanted to find a doctor in LA to like remove the ribs that I don't need, he said. <laughs> and he wanted to like, he has like a smoker at his house in LA and he wanted to like smoke it and like eat it. But oh, he asked me like five times. So like uh, over time, like obviously it became like more of a serious thing, but he like really like, he would always say like, I really wanted, like, I wonder what it tastes like. I bet it tastes good, like stuff like that. They have these things in LA called concierge doctors where basically you could call someone up and they'll give you whatever you want in a way. And just, it's for people who, you know, a lot of musicians, actors have them. He has a doctor that he was thinking about asking, but he was gonna do some research into that. Are you doing okay? This I hear is right after everything came out in the media about him. And he responds, not sure yet. I feel a bit overwhelmed to be honest. It's very invasive and shady to get kink shamed by the internet, ha. That's a good point, ha ha, I avoid it, try to anyway, ha ha ha. 
that has already started. It seems like he's responding in some way, maybe to stuff that we haven't seen that's above or stuff that she has unsent, we don't know. But it's interesting to hear him say that he's kink shamed, just weird. Right? Haha, <laughs> I had one girl who we would role play that I had kidnapped her and was explaining to her that I kidnapped her because I knew she wanted it. And then would explain how I was gonna keep her and use her as long as I wanted. That's called consensual non-consent and I'm very down, haha. <laughs> Army saying, would you sign a contract called a non-disclosure agreement? It basically is a legal contract that states anything that happens between us is legally required to stay a secret called an NDA. Look it up. And if you sign one, I will trust you even more. I imagine that a lot of celebrities do this. I heard that Justin Bieber did this when he would be on tour. He would let girls into his tour bus and they would have to all sign NDAs before they came in. And that's because I think Justin was hooking up with a lot of these girls on tour and they couldn't talk about it. But I think of course they did anyway. You just live to obey and be my slave. I'll own you, that's my soul, my brain, my spirit, my body. Would you come and be my property till you die? If I wanted to cut off one of your toes, see, Right there, that's like sub-dom conversation, I imagine. But then he goes, if I wanted to cut off one of your toes and keep it with me in my pocket, so I always had a piece of you in my possession. He just like looks over me and just goes, where am I gonna put like my initials on you? And then he like chose a spot and did it. And honestly, like I people have asked me, oh, what did it feel like? Or I remember it being very uncomfortable, but I honestly like don't fully remember like what like how that felt in that moment, what happened, because I think I was in so much pain. Oh. And also like your brain tends to like block out trauma and like traumatic experiences. Um, but it just like happened. Like I don't even I just remember sitting back and it just like happening. Need your help, ASCP kitten. You around, I'll phone you later. Yes, how may I be of help, daddy? Oh my God, when you call me like it, I get so horny. I need to drink your blood. Why the distance? <laughs> Wait, I love how he just slips in random cannibal shit. <laughs> hey, I really miss you. Everything's going fine with you. I need to drink your blood. Um, how are your kids? You're my angel. You're made to save me. You're mine. You hear me say it now. I am yours. I belong to you. Say that you're mine, mine, M-I-N-E. What the fuck? Like, is he a fucking villain from like a cheesy, like, <laughs> from like a cheesy cartoon? Like, is he, is he Skeletor? I own you now, I'll own you forever. I do, I am yours, daddy. Good girl, your body's so fucking perfect and it's mine and I'm into you. I need your blood, I crave it. Will you give it to me tomorrow? Don't forget that you're mine. That topic, once again, it's very intense. So right there, it's like she's down with the sub dom stuff, but it seems like he keeps like slipping in the blood part and she's like, ugh, that part, ugh. I'm intense, I need your blood. I want you to feed me with it. I feel like that is something that he does. I don't know, just from reading this, it doesn't seem like it's something that he just like says. It does feel like it's something he does. He just carved an A into me. He would say, oh, I wanna remove your ribs. We're gonna find a doctor in LA. Um, and I wanna smoke them and eat them. I'll always be honest with you, but don't count on it coming up, ha ha. I have always been more monogamous than not, don't know why, ha 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 ha. I just texted Luca that you might be coming to Berlin. His response, are you falling for your pet? Wow. Wow. That's super, super big. That shows that the director of Call Me By Your Name knows all about Army Hammer's sex life. She says, oh, well, that was quick. He's going to Berlin for sure. Yes, it's his movie premiering there. He wants to meet you. Oh my God. It's just, this is like a little too mind blowing that like Luca Guadagnino, the uh, director of Call Me By Your Name is like in on it. It's kind of freaky. How did you guys even get involved with ARMY? 
It happened on Instagram almost four years ago, just in direct messages. Did he promise you a relationship or it was just physical? No, and I never want to be in a relationship with him, but because of him, I could not be in a relationship with someone else. Wow. Do you think ARMY is actually dangerous or it was all just kink stuff? Kink stuff doesn't include murder fantasies or dangerous knife games like a, games, like a knife between your legs during sex or cannibalistic fantasies. I don't know anything about that. I do know that some people do some pretty crazy stuff and as long as they're consensual and they're both very willing and happy and excited to do it, I'm not gonna judge them. But what she's basically saying is it wasn't consensual and he was probably pressuring her into doing stuff like that, which is really crazy shit. This is your life, deception and every person around. I don't pretend to be special. I wanted an adult relationship in BDSM. I wanted trust and strength, but I only get moral pain. You hate me? I mean, it sounds like he uh, likes using women. I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see your brain, your blood, your organs, every part of you. I would definitely bite it, B. 100% or try to fuck it. Not sure which. Probably both. If I fucked you in a vegetative state, I'd keep you, feed you, wash you, and keep you, keep fucking you, B, till you're so sore and broken. What these women are saying is, they're basically traumatized and can't be in new relationships because of that. Which means ARMY was not fully looking for consent from these women. And I think the big thing that you're gonna have to learn if you are into some kink stuff, BDSM or whatever, this needs more consent than just regular sex. And regular sex means that both parties, all parties need to be excited, engaged, and willing to do what you ask. Now, when it comes to even more intimate stuff, stuff where there is BDSM, sub and dom and all that, tying people up, all that kind of stuff, I believe consent needs to be even more thorough. I don't think it should just be something like, do you wanna do this? They say, yeah, and then the guy does whatever the hell he wants. So I don't know all of the rules behind it, and I am sure that the BDSM community would hate everything that Army Hammer has talked about in here and the way that he acts. I was always just categorizing it as BDSM because I didn't know what BDSM was, so I thought that that was normal. I am sure the BDSM community is all about ultra consent and probably doing things that are super intense are probably the type of things that you build up to with a partner. Start off really small and work their way up to it, where it sounds like with ARMY, he finds people on the internet, sees if they're into BDSM type of stuff, sub dom stuff, and then when they meet up, he just goes all the way in without any regard for how they're actually feeling. And his non-consensual, consensual sex type of thing is just an excuse for him to not get real consent from these women. And, and this is why it's, I think it's confusing for some people because ultimately I wasn't saying no, right? So this is where consent gets really complicated. Right. Mm. And, but I refused to say no because I didn't want to let him down. So this is where it gets tricky, I think, with sex and with BDSM. Like, especially as like a woman, like we all want to be down, right? We all want to be hot and wanted. And I think that when you're in this, like the heat of the moment and you're, you want to feel you know, like you're good enough. I think that we, it can like push us and men can push us into situations that we wouldn't necessarily want. I wanna mark you, I wanna bite you, I wanna chain you up and rape you again and again. Fuck, this is overwhelming, haha. -ha. What did you tell her when she brought up all the marks? What does she think happened or does she know? She says, every time I move my head, my neck hurts. It's so sore. It's never been this sore before. It's also ever had a belt around it. Never had a belt around it. Well, for not being ready, you took it like a champ, haha. -ha. She says, no, I didn't. I tried to crawl away and cried hysterically. This is the difference between two parties that are excited and willing to do this stuff and two parties that are not on the same page. She's gotta be so surprised. Ha ha, she goes to the pool and came back to an assault victim. Now what's interesting is she said something and he completely disregarded it. He just kept going on about his excitement about how somebody found out is noticing marks on this woman's body. I couldn't even look at you during any of it. That's how not ready I was. She's a bit shocked. 
I'm not gonna lie, you crying and crawling away while I stalked you down your hallway was so exhilarating. Wow, head rush, just how completely brand you tattoo you, mark you, shave your head and keep your hair with me, cut a piece of your skin off and make you cook it for me. I mean, I feel like the tests can be endless. Whose slave master relationship is the strongest we'd win when I tell you to slit your wrists and use the blood as lube for anal. Now, I actually don't think he's joking there when he says, I feel like the tests can be endless, where right there in that line, he's not saying this is some fantasy that we're going over. He's saying these are tests. Also, people have found a secret Army Hammer Instagram account that he posts only to his close friends, a video of him about to have sex with a girl that's like, on all fours on a bed in lingerie and uh it's like him touring the uh, hotel room it's really weird i was just seeing bits and pieces on the internet you know last month but now that i went through it all fully i 100 percent believe all of them are real but based on everything i saw then seeing his secret instagram account there's just too much there's too many people coming forward. Aside from the Army Hammer stuff, just talking about consent in general. It is so, so important for men and for women to, and, and for all people, to get excited and willing consent from all parties. This does not just mean, yeah, okay. The rule of thumb that you should have for consent with somebody else is, if there is a shred of a doubt that you don't think this person is so fucking excited to go along with it, then don't do it. Even if you think that person might regret it afterwards, that's no, no, that's a no go, don't do it. You wanna be with only somebody that you know is emotionally ready to do something with you and wants to do something with you and will not regret doing that with you. And yeah, I know there's gonna be people that say, how do you know if somebody's gonna regret? If you don't know, then don't do it. Simple.